Good morning. Welcome to Bridge Chapel's Thought for the Day. Today we're looking at a woman from the Old Testament, Ruth. The story of Ruth comes after a really bleak period in the Old Testament of violence, sin and God sending judges. So it's like a little ray of sunshine in the darkness. It's subtle and it's a personal story and that's the first thing that we can take encouragement from. God cares about people, people like us. In Ruth, we can see the fingerprints of God all over her life. God's voice doesn't thunder down from heaven or send earth changing miracles, but what we do see is her life being led by a God who she comes to believe in for herself. And at the end, we can look back and see how he worked ordinary events for his divine plan. Because this story of redemption is an amazing picture of Christ. Most of us will be familiar with the story of Ruth, how Naomi and Elimelech left Bethlehem for Moab, and Ruth, a Moabitess, marries one of their sons. Then we read that both Elimelech and the two sons die, leaving the three women widows. Naomi then decides to return to Judah with Ruth and Orpah, but along the way she tells the daughters-in-law to return to Moab. And Orpah did, whereas Ruth clings to Naomi, and we recall the verse in chapter 1, verse 16, where Ruth says, Where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God shall be my God. Then the story moves on to that lovely love story in Bethlehem and one of Naomi's relatives, Boaz, redeems Ruth. The story is really familiar and rightly we most often take away from the book of Ruth the picture of Boaz as redeemer and the parallels to Jesus. But we've been asked to think about specifically Ruth and her character so a few points for us today I want to draw out is about that character, her faith and ultimately God's providence. So firstly Ruth's character. Ruth doesn't have a great position or come from a famous godly family. She's a widow from an enemy nation with no prospects. At the beginning of the book, she's living in her home nation of Moab, a place and a people that the Israelites frowned upon and who God's people had been told to have nothing to do with. Naomi and Elimelech should never have gone to Moab in the first place. But Ruth's lost her husband and she's now living with her widowed mother-in-law and she herself is now widowed without a child. The pain she must have felt was immense. On her first journey to Israel, she must have been nervous and she must have, or could easily, have shrunk into her shell and lived in obscurity, but she didn't. She didn't allow her past and the fact she was a young widow to hold her back. She believed there was life still to be lived and she moved forward in that confidence. She had no idea her story would be showcased for millions to read, but she showed incredible character in obscurity. She showed unwavering loyalty to her mother-in-law, Naomi. She worked hard in the field to provide food for her and Naomi. She proved to be a woman of integrity with Boaz. Everything she did showed a woman of great character and God honoured her for it. Character is who you are when no one's watching. And the last few months have been tough for lots of us. But how have we responded? In any difficult circumstances in life, what character have we shown? God sees... God knows and it is a real challenge. Secondly then, look at Ruth's faith. She showed amazing faith for a young believer. Faith to believe that Naomi's God was who he said he was. She hadn't known about him until she met her husband's family. But somehow, somewhere within her, she had faith to believe that he would provide for her and Naomi. She'd have known that going back to Bethlehem as a Moabite would have meant hostility and that she probably was choosing a life of poverty with little chance of a husband. But she did it. And I often think, what step of faith have I taken in the last year? Five years, ten years? Or are we just too comfortable to ask God what he wants to lead us on to next? How about you? Ruth believed God would provide and in that place of faith he did a miraculous work to redeem Ruth. And finally, we can't look at the story of Ruth and not talk about God's providence. God took a poor, hurting foreigner and healed her provided for her and brought her a great love with Boaz. One of the best parts of Ruth's story is God's sovereignty and providence. God brought Ruth and Boaz together and they conceived a child and that child would be in the line of Jesus, saviour of the world. So we've got Ruth, a Moabite, part of God's story of salvation. He was at work the entire time. It was a long and difficult journey but it ended with redemption. Ruth started out empty, but she ended full. If we're Christians and secure in our faith, there is no limit to what God can do through us. 
no matter what stage of life we're at or the state of our Christian walk at the moment. If after a pretty rubbish year and you're feeling far away in your walk with God right now, take another look at the book of Ruth and remember that God works for the good of his people. Thanks.